So it's a bit tweaked. I can see by eye. I'll try to hold the camera steady, but uh, if you notice that big hole there, you know, so, so this thing is toast. The things are just twisted and bent up. And this is the OEM uh, hitch, and this is a 2002 vehicle, so it did last a while, but these things do rust out. All right, well, this hitch came along, and uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's pretty thick. I cannot lift it. Uh, I mean, I can lift it. It takes two arms. It's not like, uh, it's pretty heavy duty is what I'm getting at. So this came in a in kit. I haven't opened it yet, but it looks like some uh, parts in there for bolts and ooh, even directions. So that's going to be a bonus. So let's get to ripping the old one off and see what kind of uh, frame we have left to uh, mount this on. Because the frame might be shot too. I don't even know. Haven't been in there in a while. Alright, so I'm thinking the best thing to do is take this off outdoors because there's probably going to be a lot of rust falling down and it's probably going to be a lot of <laughs> I don't know tools thrown I'm hoping this thing comes right off bolt wise you know unbolt the however many bolts there are take everything off slap the new one on uh, I might have to pull it in the garage to get a you know maybe because I got to jack it up or some you know the new hitch because I don't think I can lift that all uh, right so we're up on some jack stands and uh, that is a pretty gaping hole let's get under here and look Oh yeah, those bolts look pretty angry. All right, so my mission is not to remove anything as far as uh, like the spare tire or the bumper, although the bumper looks like it's seen, it, seen its day, and that might be just uh, surface stuff. I don't know, but we got to get these bolts out of here. Now well, let's see if we can uh, get rid of some of this rust, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Probably poke a hole in something. Holy crap. But I'm thinking I probably got to cut this thing off. But let's go ahead and try. Let's try the old, you know, the way you're supposed to do it. See what happens. I got a little uh, shield here, but I don't think that's going to do much. Oh, wow, that went right on. Did you try that one? <laughs> kind of fits uh, well it does kind of fit let's see here it is a uh, 21 that I'm gonna try first maybe there we go probably try to loosen it first yeah all right here goes nothing face full of rust Rounded it or just I don't know what the hell that did. Can't see nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm just uh, rounding it off. But let's see here. Holy crap, this one came out like no problem. Mm, that's not a bad fit. What is this? So the 21 knocked a lot of rust off. Then we're going to go to, uh, what was that? 1316. Seems like a decent fit. I see. Just about took my finger off. It's turning on the top. Trying to fit a wrench up there. I could feel it's just crusty, crusty crap. And uh, I'm thinking a pair of ice grips will probably 
hold that sucker in place, but <clears throat> yeah, that's a bite. One bite. Let's try that. Smokes. <laughs> Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Uh oh. Oh boy. It's like a little nub. <laughs> Whatever's left up there. It's like a carriage bolt now. <laughs> I didn't even touch this side. Hopefully I can get enough on there. that's gonna do it don't know if that's gonna do it all right so we originally went with a 21 right yeah that kind of fits oh boy that's gonna be right in the way let's try this one first wow can you believe that came off of there No way. That, that's that's warm, stupid. No way. Oh, half the truck's falling apart, but we're getting a hitch. Oh, I got rust in the ears. This is nice. Ow. All right, didn't fall down. I can't believe these are coming out of here. This is awesome. <laughs> well, given the rust factor, that was just sort of amazing. <laughs> Those bolts came out of there. Uh, so, I don't know how much, how much of this bumper is left up here, but it's just these two bolts here, and probably under this plastic is just, uh, <laughs> you know how that goes. Uh, just these two bolts here, but I don't want to drop, that's the only thing that's holding this hitch on, but I don't want to drop it yet because uh, I'm probably going to have to cut this off. So I'll get my tool out and zing this, zing that, so I can lower this and get rid of the harness because I don't want to rip everything down and I might be able to use that plate, I don't know. i got to see what uh, what it looks like and I'm not sure how this thing's going to come out of there, even if it, you know, I'm not even sure if it is going to come out of there. It's probably, you know, rust jacked in there. This part was where it was rusted all to crap, so... Getting the one ear off. All right. Two. Just two hanging on there. All right, this hitch should fall right off of there now. are coming off no problem. So this hitch should come off with it right now. Try to rip my exhaust off. Oh, screw it. Alrighty. Well, I made sure that I ordered the right one. And uh, first of all, this, this this thing here is massive in weight comparison to that one. I know it's uh, the OEM one is on a cancer diet or whatever, but I can lift that thing with one hand. This thing, uh, it's it's actually two or three times the weight. It's pretty massive. I can measure that. Yeah, that's way off, man. Way off. Oh, that's a bummer. Let's see. Uh, this is upside down. Is it upside down? It is upside down. But this thing is way extended. I'm going to have to get under there and see if there's bolt holes somewhere else. If there's not, I might have to drill some bolt holes. I don't know. I got an idea. Let's do the directions. All right, it is the right hitch. And this is uh, after reading the directions. There's even uh, for newer trucks and 
existing bumper brace for 2001 to 2007. Uh, so they're going to use um, a little different operator. Uh, I, I guess I'll just kind of read the directions for you. When I install it, I'll show you what I'm talking about. But they're using uh, they're going to use these brackets for attaching it to um, is there a hole over here? Yeah, to part of your bumper bracket, and uh, there's some other things going on, and I'll figure it out. But uh, in the meantime. I think it's going to be a little bit better as far as uh, there's going to be more secure points instead of just the uh, three bolts on the frame, which is kind of corroded. They're going to use uh, some side stuff too. All right, I'll try to be steady here. See those two bolts, part of this bracket here, one, two. Uh, we're going to have to take them off, and uh, a hanger is going to go in between there. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's one of those uh, saddle. It's got like a strap hooked to, because um, there's no nut on the other side here. So these two bolts on this side, there's a strap going across. But I think I did this on a Ford once, where you unloosen these bolts on this side. And then I reached around here with my hand to see if a nut was spinning, because you couldn't really see it. And that damn strap broke and almost cut my finger in half, so be careful of that. So we're going to have to take on each side these two bolts off, holding this... Uh, this bumper bracket on and get that out of the way and we're going to use this existing welded nut here that's the only existing whole welded nut we're going to use um, for the new one because the other one is going to use uh, some uh, some of the metal things you saw the uh, the cleats there and we're going to come through this hole so we're not going to use these two holes just this welded nut fella and I gotta tell you, what if this welded nut fella didn't make it? I guess, uh, I guess you'd have to get a regular nut and bolt, but mine made it, so I'm gonna just use them. And I see this is, this is a piece. It's not, it's not, it's, this is part of the frame here, frame, frame, and this is not. So what they're gonna do is use the existing welding nut and then also use a hanger deal here to pinch it in between here and uh on and plug into your bumper too so it's going to be extra support there so let me get working on uh getting these two or four bolts two here and two on the other side <laughs> i'm actually in shock and awe who said that bush uh so those bolts the one up there and the one here 18 millimeter see it i, get, I don't know if it's pressed in or whatever those things actually broke free then i was like is that going to work up here too for these two fellas and yep, they're turning, which is crazy. 2002. So I have to take these completely off. This, uh, oh yeah, I just broke loose. Um, these two have a strap behind it, a common, um, oh! All right, you got like a quarter turn here, but it's turning. Alright, so this is going to be a little difficult uh, just by myself uh, because I'm not going to be able to lift it and hold it and start a bolt at the same time. Um, so what I, what I think I'm going to do is those two hangers there, I'm going to put them on first to, to where, um, where I think I showed earlier. So there'll be a, you know, I won't bolt them in place, just to kind of hang them in there. I won't tighten everything up rather and uh, just kind of hang them in there. This way I can get the, uh, the two ends started. At least get one end up, you know, we'll see how it goes, but all right, yeah. Here's what I got so far. So I've got this uh this black piece just sandwiched in between there and I've got two two of the uh uh I think they were M fourteens uh, or whatever they were. There's there's six of them that are alike. And uh so I got the two conical washers on that side and two on the inside, just like over there. Right? I got both of them just hanging there loosely. Alright, so I got it resting on the exhaust over there and I'm about to get under there, lay under there and try to hoist this up. So here's what I'm going to use. The uh, M14 bolt, one lock washer, and this uh, half inch, uh, the shorter block there. And that's going to get pasted right to that fella into the welded nut, right? So I'm going to try to get one up in there and I'll show you what I did afterwards. Um, but I'm not going to show you me squirming around on the floor trying to do this. 
I'll try to get it up there first. If not, I might have to set up some uh, jack stands or, you know, something, a jack to hoist it up. I'm going to try it myself first. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work. I got under there. There's no way I can do that myself. So I'm going to have to uh, get some jacks or uh, stands or something, get this thing closer uh, because uh, there was just there's just no way that well at least I can't do it Maybe when I was 30, but not now. Holy crap. That thing is heavy. I'm just gonna try to work both of these up Just keep going up my, I gotta change my battery on the camera. It's about to run out. I'm gonna get it up as far as I can with the jacks and then uh, and then try to um, I don't know, Get some jack stands out of there Right, that actually worked out pretty good. So I got the one on this side started and uh, So you're able to jockey it Just as far as you need to so it's it's not tight yet, but it's started in the uh, the well the knot and of course the shackle here on the outside Let's See if I can get a better light here Still needs to be attached You know, but uh, we can line that hole up Oh yeah, yeah. That's not exactly uh, tight. So they started going in a little hard. I was like, oh man, hope this welded nut holds up. And then uh, once it broke free, free from the rust there, it started going a little easier. I was thinking maybe I should put a little Never Seize on there to <laughs> help it. But this truck is uh, not going to last as long as this hitch. So, All right, so now, uh, now I'll try to get the front up there with the fine threads. And uh, I could probably let go of this jack right now. but And then uh, get the other... The other two bolts started and then we could tighten everything up all right see let's see what we got here all right so again i i like that it's not connected to the bumper anymore everything's on a frame so uh that's the forward bolts there those are the fine thread and what i did up there you probably can't see it but i used the big thick uh block up there the inch and a half uh, deal uh, you can see it up there so we didn't tighten anything up yet, so that's that. And then uh, this bolt here is the coarse thread deal, and that's a 3 8 uh, block. And on the top there is uh, the welded nut. So that just goes straight up in, just a lock washer, the bolt. And then the bolt uh, up above that, that's loosey-goosey there, that's part of... This is a little gander from the other side. So this is that, that um, hanger bottom bolt and the top two bolts that go to your uh, your bumper bracket so that's what I'm tightening now uh, on both sides and it was just pinched in between this and the frame but that's why we had to take these two bolts out remember the u-bolt there and then slide this up in there and this plugs into uh, obviously the hitch there so get one two three six more bolts tightened up and we're good All right. So I was almost about to tighten that up. You see that's a, how it's angled? Same thing on the other side. So this is the bottom hanger. Up there, it's fine. It's flush, right? I don't know if you can see that. But down here, as I'm tightening, I'm like, yeah, that ain't right. And then remember them six washers? So I've got uh, four washers. And I'm thinking two will go in here, right? Take up that space. And I looked at the directions, and sure enough, they don't list it word-wise, but they do show it, and I'll show you in a second. Let me loosen that back up. Well, that's a little better. So you got to add them two washers on the inside there. You see now everything is nice and straight. Um, so it's the conical deal on the outside, two of the flat washers on the inside, then you got the uh, lock washer and the lock nut. All right, so everything's tight. I like how they did that. So this is the, uh, the welded nut. You could probably just make it out. That that bolt goes uh, pretty far up. So if your welded nut breaks, uh, that's what the the extra washer and nut is for. You can only assume because I only have two nuts and two washers left over after uh, addressing this uh, this thing over here. But uh, so if your weld nut breaks, then and this this is a flat piece up here. You know if this uh, I can't get up there with the camera. If this weld nut, it's welded to the frame, if it broke, then you can add the washer and the nut. Oh, Whew. so I think we're all set here. Now we're gonna have to figure out what to do with this fella. I'm not gonna use this rusty piece. I do have some stainless that I think I can use. I don't know if this thing comes off. It's 
probably rust jacked on there. But that's the next move. Either pop rivet it or, um, I don't know, I gotta do something. I gotta get the electric back here. Oh my gosh, it worked. I think I got it. I really don't want to take that apart. It's 20 something years old. It's not too bad inside. I've been treating it, but. Yeah, right, so first attempt, I'm going to uh, just trace this. I cut that thing off. Got the thing through. Just traced a little uh, pattern there. I'm going to try to cut it out freehand with the. Uh, plasma cutter. If it comes out alright where that socket will fit through then I'll shape this. Uh, probably just use you know down here just cut it and just pop rivet it. Um, this is stainless and that's uh, steel the, the hitch and I can weld it to it but I'd rather just uh, drill a couple tiny holes <laughs> 3 8 3 16 rather 3 16 maybe 2 3 of them and pop rivet it because this stuff is really stout. This stuff is uh, stainless and ain't going to bend as opposed to this is like almost paper thin so let me try that and if I have to weld it I will but let me try to cut that out first alright so here's what I come up with Oop, she's still a little warm um, so I just fit it a little dirty here uh, but it's stainless I, I'm going to paint it up but I, I, I was going to weld it right but this is stainless and that's uh, regular steel and I can do that I've got stainless wire but then I'd have to change the wire in the gun, so I think I'm just going to drill some holes here and pop rivet it because I'm in a hurry. And uh, use some stainless pop rivets. So that's what basically we're looking at. And the slot is going to have to stay there because I'm, uh, I'm not taking that plug apart. There's no way that's going to come apart easily without something breaking and I don't want to rewire it. So I'm just going to leave the slot in there. The wire will fit in here and we'll turn it. It fits good too. It's really nice and, uh, nice and snug. Well, that looks like a good place for a plug. It's about where the other one was. Um, and I just rounded off the corners here in case you're under here. You don't want to dig your head into that, but you know, the other one was, it was just rounder, but uh, this is going to work. So it'll just slip in here and then, uh, <laughs> yeah, I put two rivets there. Uh, so this thing is going nowhere. Rivet, rivet. I was a little concerned that that was going to break the plastic, but it didn't. It's pretty thick plastic. Uh, and it goes right through the other side. Ow! So that thing is solid. And uh, I'm going to paint it up just because. Okay, so that's all I got. Uh, so I did throw a little coat of paint on that uh, switch there. Or socket, whatever. And that's a wrap. So, if you're wondering if you, you know, hey, I wonder if I can do a hitch myself. Yeah, no problem. I did it no problem. The only problem you're going to have is, uh, if you're by yourself, is that sucker's pretty heavy. So this is the old hitch here, right? The old rusty hitch, and uh, here, one finger. I could pick this up with one finger. <laughs> so they did a pretty good job of, of uh, making this thing. It is pretty thick. It is wicked heavy. I can't even lift this. Um, I mean, I can lift it, obviously, but it takes two hands. I can lift this with one finger. This thing is so, uh, well, I was going to say cheap. It's just not, it's just not, you know, nowhere near the quality of that thing. Anyways, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. See you next time.